style. <laughs> Here at Hemfield High School, its students have a lot of accessibility in what they can do, whether it's the five pathways to graduation or with its new clubs. Because this is the first time in probably 10 years that we've thought about having clubs for all students during the school day. Um, we have over 70 clubs available for our students to choose from and to make a selection and to find something that they are interested in and to hang out with other kids and an adult here at the building that has the same interest. We do have a variety of clubs and again it's based upon what our staff members are interested in what they have a passion about. We have eSports, which is a new club as well, and that's actually one that is um, traveling throughout the county and also the country where students are able to participate and it's an actual sport now as well. So that's something up and coming, and so we've jumped on that bandwagon and have added an eSports program here at our school as well. I think it was really organized. So it really started off like kind of shaky, but then when we got in here, it was really organized. Everyone got along. Is a really supportive environment. Um, I would say it would be actually being in a club that's brand new. It's a club that now me and the other students and Mr. Lead get to make our own. It's not an established club or an established organization or anything. I'm just joining it to be a part of it. It's something that now we will create and define what it will become in the years to come of the school. So the biggest element about this, which we've already started establishing from day one, is creating a community and a bond. And I think with this crew, what makes it extremely unique is that the thing that brings them together most is a love of video games. Now, obviously, in terms of esports, we are competing in two particular games. Um, but the goal here is really to develop that community, bring kids together that normally wouldn't be together, whether it's in classes, whether it's grade levels, um, whether it's just in general interest. I mean, we've got kids from different walks of life, uh, and this really provides a social club to bring them together where they can share in their love of video games but also kind of um, be able to compete in that realm as well which is something that's very new uh, in terms of competition because esports is a relatively new thing not extremely new um, but it's it's just nice because the community is already starting to form so we're really excited to see how that kind of builds uh, my favorite part about the esports club is all the people getting together their interests it's a nice environment where everyone's trying to achieve the same goals even though there are a lot of great things about the eSports club, there are still many responsibilities that come with being a part of this club. So given that this is not just a club, it is also representative of an actual eSports team. Um, essentially, it's not something that becomes available for students to just click and go into. So ideally, we are looking for students that are A, interested in video games, but more specifically, uh, ones that have experience and have actually done their own um, kind of hours and put in the time and practice for Rocket League and League of Legends. So that kind of limits because there are students that love playing video games uh, and they might want to play competitively, but those are the only two games we have available. Um, it's also a lot of buy-in from the parents so we have a number of meetings ahead of time uh, in order to ensure that the parents are willing to allow their children to do this particular club um, and this is a club that maintenance as a member also requires academic standing as well so whereas the other clubs it's more of just interest um, this is interest but there's also a lot of other things in order to maintain your space um, because again we want to make sure that academics come first um, and that we are putting together a group of students who uh, are legitimately interested in esports and competing in esports and that it's, while it is a social club, it's also at the end of the day, we are going to be competing against other schools. As of right now, the eSports club is just a simple school club, but Mr. Lead has huge plans to make the eSports club something so much more. So this year really is about trying to establish what the foundation of the team is going to be. So really it's getting kids in the same space, playing the same games, seeing from a technological standpoint what we're capable of doing and time-wise what we can commit to it. Um, but this year really is gonna be about exhibition. So the goal really is to get the kids playing, get them a feel for who's the better of the players, some technique, have some conversations, study some ways to be better, become better players, uh, and then setting up exhibition matches with local schools around the IU 13. My goal for next year is that we are going to actually enter an actual competition league uh, where we're going to compete against teams all across Pennsylvania uh, in those games and really just try and see what Hemfield can do and how we measure up against some of the other clubs and teams out there that have actually been in, in operation for a few years now. And with new clubs like the eSports club getting added to Hemfield's club selection, Hemfield High School really does give its students a wide variety of choices to make sure that there is a club that can suit their interests. 
From Hemfield Happenings, this is Thomas Williams.